What's up, everybody? It's Cam. I'm back again with another midweek motivation. And tonight, we're going to talk about getting rid of that stinking thinking. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Let's go. So you ever been, you know, having a good day, having a good stretch, a good week, a good month, maybe. And then all of a sudden, these crazy thoughts start coming into your mind. They start coming into your head. You start getting distracted at work. You start getting distracted on the things that you're passionate about. And you're just like, man, I'm really not good at this. I'm really, and you just start getting down on yourself. You just start beating yourself up over silly stuff. You start causing yourself to think that you're not good enough. You're not great enough for whatever the situation may be. And then you like fall into this slump. If you've ever been in that predicament, if you've ever been in that situation, you found yourself in a bad way of thinking. And what you need to do is get out of that stinking thinking. The Bible says in Proverbs 23, seven, and I'll show the scripture here, for as a man thinketh, so is he. Whatever you think within your heart of hearts, in your mind of minds, that's what you're gonna act out. Like I always tell the young people who I have the privilege of pastoring at, at our church, I say, whatever you think in your heart, you're gonna say it. If you say it, that means it was in your heart to do it. That means you've been thinking on it for a while. So your thoughts become your words and your words become your actions, right? So it starts in the mind and then whatever you speak, we already know that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So whatever we speak, we put that out into the world and then it begins to manifest. So don't think that your words and your thoughts don't have power because they can definitely change the course of your day, they can change the course of your week, and they can change the course of your life. Your life is comprised of the seasons, days, and moments that, that you either consider happy times or sad times. If a person has more happy memories about themselves or about one's life, then they are considered to have a happy life. If a person has nothing but sad memories or sad times that they can recall a about a person's life, then that person is considered to have a sad life or a less fortunate life. So don't allow yourself to fall into the stinking way of thinking. I was reading a devotion this morning. It says, are we more problem focused or are we more purpose focused? When you're problem focused, your relationships that you have with other people are more based on problems. Oh, I have a problem with this person, so I need to address this. Instead of what is the purpose? For this person being in my life what is the purpose that god put me in their life you know because everything that god does we already know that travis green says he's intentional he's an intentional god so everything we know that all things work together for the good of them that love god and are the called according to his purpose because he's intentional all right and we have to be intentional uh about the way we speak about the way we think and about the way we act because all of these things will cause our life to change dramatically. Listen, guys, I love you. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Midweek Motivation. If you haven't, make sure you check this video out from last week on Strong Finish. I believe it's gonna bless you tremendously. Thank you all so much for the love and the support. Continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. Listen, you don't wanna miss next week. Next week, I have a special guest. She's my rib. She bad and bougie. She's beautiful. Uh, I love her with all my heart. And we're going to be talking about something that you guys have been asking us to do for a while now. And we're going to have some mini segments on relationships. So I don't, I don't want you all to miss out on the upcoming videos. All right. Thank you all. Stay tuned. And we'll see you at the next video.